Wings are in on the attack. Maltby circling with the puck along the near boards. He'll drop it into the left wing corner. Hatcher will slam it up the far side. Langenbrunner taking a hit from Koser but protects the puck. Neuendijk over skates. The Wings on a turnover. They score! And the Warrior captain of the Red Wings just got rung up as he stepped over the blue line. He saw the hit coming from Sidor. Right corner, Keane. Over skating the puck. Kozlov lifting it out, going after him. Kesmer with an elbow. Kesmer taking a penalty because of all the, the energy that he has stored up. This is his first game of the season. He comes in with an elbow right in the chops of Kozlov and Brett Hall, especially on the power play. Both play their off wing. Their right shot's on the left side. Now Murphy is in from Holmstrom. They score! Iserman! Forward four for the Stars. Here's Lettman attacking at the line. He'll pitch it in right wing corner. Madano getting to the puck. Hammered off of it. And he's down in the corner. Zuboff a shot. Rebound. They score. But Madano is loose in the corner. And I believe the play was blown dead. That was a pretty vicious elbow from Kirk Maltby. And that... He, he came in, he, you could call it a number of different things, I think. I want to have another look at it. It came down in the near side corner, down to our right. And as Madonna went back for it, Maltby came past Lidstrom and just planted right into Mike Madonna and got the, the left elbow up into the chops of Madonna. He had him lined up and threw the elbow and... And that's that's the one thing that they're they're trying to do in this league is is take that out of it and that's head hunting and, and former Red Wing Jamie Pusher in that game this time he just tasted McCarty and I think McCarty tried to make it look a little worse than really what it was firing it in all in pursuit hands with Lidstrom picked up by Letman cutting to the slot slap shot they score. That's Keith Carbonell. His stick was tied up. He blocked the shot first, and then a second effort to get it down. Oh, and Hatcher brings the period to a crashing halt as he rubs out Thomas Holmstrom at center ice. Well, they got back some real estate. They, they, they capitulated early in this period, and then with Feist and some determination, they came back. Holmstrom just got the puck, and then he got nailed. Good first period. What a period. The Red Wings, two. The Dallas Stars, one. Don't go anywhere. Right to Matt Machuk. He'll guide it ahead to Madonna. Here he comes with Lettman, two on two, shorthanded. Madonna steps around, better out to Lettman, he scores! And the Red Wings start ahead. Maltby, right wing attack at the Dallas line. One wing has a measure, and tosses him. And then McCarty comes in with a flying elbow on for beat. Nothing called on that. The puck spun to the far side. Scootland legging after it. He hits Draper. And he's able to advance it to Verbeek. Who's hit from behind by Maltby and he's going. Get his job. That's what he wanted to do. Stars on the power play again. When we continue on the Dallas Stars Hockey Network. They carried on back up the boards towards the, the middle of the ice and by the Detroit bench and Maltby a little over exuberant on Pat Verbeek who was just looking to draw a penalty. Shanahan in the near corner to Eisenman. He's challenged. Works the puck down low. They put it into the slot. Lindstrom trying to tee it up to Shanahan. Oh. Belfour got across and shut the pad out. Stars work hard along the near boards but can't clear. Eisenman, a drive. Belfour the save. And a furious battle in front of the Dallas net. Anarchy. I think Belfour has a grip on, or he did for a second, the gentleman from Sweden as he dubbed him in the playoffs last year, Thomas, Sun, uh, Thomas Holmstrom, pardon me. What a save by Belfour. And an offside call at the line, and McCown, or one of the Red Wings, it's LaPointe, I guess, going over to talk to Dan Kesmer. Yeah, Kesmer every time Kesmer's come on the ice, he's... I think he's given Ken Hitchcock and the stars the, the shifts that they want out of him. He doesn't back down. And, you know, for Dan Kesmer to get into that series last year after being out for a month and play the way he did, is, is nothing short of amazing. He had a lot of guys mad at him on this last shift, and that's what, that's what you want to do. You want to play in their face. He continues to jaw with LaPointe along the far side. 
LaPointe's as thick as he is wide. Here come the Stars the other way. Zuboff at center ice, picking his way to the Detroit line, into the middle of the ice for Madonna. Blind feed the hole! He scores! Playing it back out to Sador off the boards, a drive. That one hit something in front and went wide. Zuboff pounding it at the goal. Off Osgood for Beek kicking at it. And Shanahan will touch it off to better up. And now Osgood and Verbeek are locked up in front of the Detroit goal. And everybody's going to get in on this one. F. Belfour is also working at center ice. Stars bench is screaming at Belfour to stay down there, and that he should. Osgood's out of his mind right now. He's a feisty little guy, Chris Osgood is. He's a competitor, as was the guy he was tied up with. There are not a lot of... Uh, now Shanahan. Shanahan wants for Peek. And Don Van Nassenhoven, the referee, and Mark Perry, the linesman, each one of them has one of those two. Well, well this all started because Osgood had a grip on Verbeek's stick. And you can, you can call holding the stick on a goalie, too. And Van Massenhoven didn't. Verbeek got tied up first by Lindstrom, and then he tried to Maradona it past the goalie, and then he, he, he couldn't get his stick out. So then they grabbed one, and then Osgood came out again and got in his face. Osgood laid a beating on, on Patrick Waugh of uh, Colorado last year. But my money would be on Pat Verbeek in that one. Goalies rarely win the fights with players. Wings charging ahead with it. Eiserman in. Make the shot. Pat Pachuk went down. Stars go crashing into the end boards. And somebody went in pretty hard under the pile. It was Guy Carbono. And he's okay. I ran, believe. Ran his head into the boards. And I think Big Dave Reed's knee or body went in there as well. And Carbono's feeling a little wonky. He, you know, again, it, that's the type of player that you win these games on, and it's the type of player who you get the offense from, from Hall and players like that, but, you know, Guy Carbonell's play, penalty killing, and, and leadership, he just went hard into the boards with his head. Ow. Well, they'll bring everybody over the blue line here, so both their defensemen, they've, they've got a lot of guns up. They need to just win it and shoot it. Carbono ties it up. Iserman can't get the shot away. And the Dallas Stars have defeated the Detroit Red Wings. A come-from-behind 3-2 win in front of a raucous crowd at Reunion Arena.